hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's victor once again another day another scholarship today is another beautiful opportunity to shoot your shot at um, international scholarships and today we're talking about research opportunities in the u.s masters and phd research opportunities in the u.s so a number of people say oh the admission um, season is over wait till probably september to apply that is not necessarily true Probably it is true for taught courses. Taught courses where you go to the class and take a number of courses and take exams. But for research courses where departments and professors have particular topics they want you to research on and through that end a degree, those ones are open throughout the year most of the time. There, there is no closing or opening season. So today I bring you over 30 research opportunities for masters and PhD um, applicants in the US. By the way, if you've not seen my video on how to apply directly for a PhD with a BSc, please check out that video. It's quite relevant for this one as well. And it will be linked after this one in case you need to you need to watch it. So today we're looking at different opportunities. We'll not we'll not look at all of them, just some sample opportunities. I'll also be sharing with you these um, websites where to find these opportunities we'll be comparing funding packages as well how much are they paying for these opportunities what do they cover do they cover things like insurance and importantly how do you contact these um, professors these professors providing these opportunities how do you write a captivating um, email to these professors in order to get this um, scholarship because it is not enough to just share the links or to just run and copy the links it's also important to know how to strategize to get these positions and they are quite generous you'll be blown away by this um opportunities i remember you got this from here i do most of these um research when i'm probably just browsing at night and stumble on incredible opportunities so remember you got it from here i have you um in mind even while resting <laughs> So I bring this to you today to take advantage of. So let's go to the opportunities. So the first one is um, quite important and um, I'll show you why very soon. So this is um, a university in Texas and this is the Department of um, Agriculture and Life Sciences. So here they're looking for a PhD or MSc student in avian ecology in actually University of Alabama. Well, this is actually the website of the university in Texas. And this website particularly is just like a hub for different scholarships. So apart from the scholarships available in this university in Texas, it shares opportunities from other universities around the U.S. And we'll be checking out other opportunities very soon. And I will show you how this website is a treasure trove of opportunities especially for those working in the area of ecology, water, forest, and um, things like that. So in this particular one, they are paying 20,000 US dollars for the masters. But if you look down here, they are paying 25 US dollars for um, a PhD student. So the instruction is here, I won't go through all of them. It's about ecology, saving and wildlife. and the application requirements are also clearly written clearly written your interested applicants to send um, the letter of application just like your cover letter or um, a statement of purpose then a resume that's your cv and um, quick tip about the cv if you're confused about how to um, format your cv how to present your cv go to the website of the particular professor given this page see a cv and copy from the format that's one of the easy ways of getting a um, cv format go to the professor actually um, advertising this post and check the format of his cv and see the structure because different universities might have different structures different countries as well might have different ways so this is the us check the US format of writing a CV. I think that will be an academic CV to be precise because the difference between an academic CV and a normal CV used for normal non academic um, opportunities. So check with this professor, Professor Young Wang, that's his name, Department of Biology and Environmental Sciences at Alabama University. His email address is also here. 
next one here um, you have the skills that you need to to have to apply for the opportunity i remember i told you that this is a treasure trove of scholarship this particular website because if you look to the left you see here a number of opportunities full-time opportunities internship graduate assistantships so this is uh, some of the opportunities you might want to look at so if you click here graduate opportunities you see numerous other opportunities that also have to do with this ecology forest water conservation and this is um an example this is a master's opportunity in crop and, and soil sciences in Michigan State University. And they're actually paying more than what we saw here. Here they're paying 20 or 25 for a PhD student. And here we see they're paying 26 actually. $26,000, that's per annum. So you're earning over 2,000 per, per, per month. And of course, you see the the deadlines here. You see the deadlines here. Usually, they write the month before the day. So, 06 is um, June. So, the deadline here will be probably 1st of June. And um, I think, let's check the deadline here. The de deadline here is um, um, 1st of May. I think these dates were reversed. These dates were reversed because uh, May comes before this I think this is September I believe this is supposed to be the start date and um, the deadline so the deadline for this one is the first of May I think this one is June so let's move let's move quickly so this is this is another treasure trove and the application and details you need to know here and um, see here they said this is you can apply for this with a bachelor's degree in the relevant field um, soil science ecology microbiology environmental sciences etc and the contact person and the email we can check for more opportunities but we won't go through all of them just just to show you that there are several other opportunities here so these are the opportunities available and pay attention to the dates pay attention to the dates to make sure that they've not expired already pay attention to the deadlines these are more both um msc and bsc opportunities and this website is particularly for those interested in ecology conservation water resources and um, things like that so shoot your shot so there's another one you might be interested in this one is at the University of Florida and it's quite related I must confess to the one we saw earlier and this is a, a master's and position in marine ornamental um, aquaculture so the deadline is um 21st and um, we start in August all things being equal and here they didn't necessarily specify how much they're going to pay they didn't specify how much they're going to pay but usually they're supposed to cover your stipend and tuition and um, things like that they are meant to co cover your stipend but people even cover insurance and um, tuition waiver as well so for your qualification you need a bs in a relevant discipline display knowledge display your verbal and written skills and here yes it's written here benefits are no stipend plus tuition remission and here as i said healthcare is a healthcare insurance so this is a full package so let me show you another variety of the scholarships of scholarships in the u.s so this is um, a website known as um, find a phd usually you find phds um in the uk on this site but once in a while you can also find phds in the us and there are a number of them here already clarkson university for instance the number of um, the university in new york and has a number of positions and there are a number of other universities here like purdue as well and another popular university so you have like about eight nine positions here or universities U um, us universities accepting um phd and master's student usually this site is a site to look for phd opportunities for the uk but as i said once in a while we find um 
PhD opportunities for US as well. So there are 11 opportunities here. So check them out. We have, I believe we have a sum. This is one of the opportunities here. And the closing date is on the 1st of June. And this is about wireless communication. Wireless communication, University of West Virginia. And all the details you need to know are here. They also require um, English test for for um, non-English speakers or non-US citizens must include. Non-US citizens must include them um, English test. That's the TOEFL or the IELTS. So JARI scores are required by all applicants as well. But students may be accepted provisionally without this course. Okay. So there are other positions on this website as well. So this is Clarkson University. University in New York, and this is a um, material characterization of atomic force microscopy. Do you need a bachelor's or a master's? I believe this is a PhD position, but with the bachelor's you can get it. It's one of those direct um, BSc to PhD positions I talked about. And um, the other requirements you might need And the amount they're also paying, they're paying 25000 So look at the admissions requirements transcript. The letters of recommendation, statement of purpose, jury, proof of English proficiency. And there's an email here where you're meant to send your documents. So pay attention to the particular documents you should send. Some people want you to send like an email where you include tell the professor of your background and everything probably in the body of the email but here they specify they need your transcript your cv letter of recommendation statement of purpose gre and english proficiency so in the body of the email you might not write much just tell them i wish to apply for this position kindly find attached um, my document which includes um my CV and the other, you know, the other documents. So you don't need to say too much in the body of the document. So that is why it is necessary to pay attention to the particular um, application structure or ap application procedure of the of the position. So there are several other positions here. Several other positions. Here. As usual, I'll leave this in. Um, websites for you to look at yourself there's another position at the um, Clarkson university computational modeling similar to the one we saw similar to the one we saw earlier finally i want to introduce you to a wonderful website where you can get more phd positions and this time it's not just in the us you have the us the uk the eu china Japan and several other countries. So this is um, a website that contains both masters, I believe, and PhD positions, and also postdoc and even professorial positions. So you can find several academic jobs here on this um, website. There are lots of opportunities that are still open, actually. So the admission season is not over. Nobody should tell you otherwise. There are several other opportunities still open phd opportunities and i've checked out some of them quite generous this is at the university of um university of new mexico it's about avian migration that's birds migration university of um, new mexico and they are paying twenty four thousand a year that is um two thousand a month two thousand dollars a month and um see the application deadline should be May 15th. They're supposed to start in July. So there are several op other opportunities like that here. You can't go through all of them, but just to show you the variety of opportunities you have in front of you. So take advantage, guys. Read closely the admissions process, how to structure the email. I've given you a clue on how to structure your CV. Just go look for this person, the person advertising. That's the lecturer you'll be working with. Look for him or her. Look for the structure of our CV. Also go through some of our 
publications. So you can mention some of those publications in your statement of purpose or in your email that, oh, I've gone through your publications, I've seen what you've done. And there's a lot of um, similarities um, between my interest and your academic publication and your academic research. And state how your skills be beneficial um, to him or to her. And that's it, guys. Numerous opportunities. I think if I count these opportunities one by one, there are probably more than 50. But to be modest, I just said 30 plus. <laughs> but it should be more than 50. That plus could be plus 100. But um, take advantage of this, guys. And I will see you at the top. And when you get the position, we'll be here to celebrate you. And um, take care. And bye-bye for now.